So immigration, we already know. When President Trump was in office, everybody had to wait in Mexico. Asylum seekers, if they caught you, you got kicked back to Mexico that day. There was no warehousing you, it was any of that. Everybody had to wait there. That suppressed the caravans, the mass migration into the United States. People didn't want to wait in those camps. They're not nice places. All right. Well, as soon as Biden got in, he did away with all of that. So what happened? Well, total encounters, February 2021, last month, more than 100,000 on the border. In September, 55,000, almost a double. Kids coming over. Now, we're going to get into the kids thing in a moment. February, last month, 9,457 children detained by the Border Patrol. Almost 10,000 children. September, 4,000. More than a double. And again, we'll explain why the kids are coming across in a moment. And the migrant facilities are now overwhelmed. So the border towns are overwhelmed. Do people have COVID coming over? Yes, they do. Not all of them, but they did a little survey in Brownsville and they found out a significant number had COVID, as you would expect. Did they get tested? No. Did they get on a bus? Yes. Okay, this is all the Biden plan. So he knocks out Trump and what Trump did to suppress migration. And what does he put in there? Nothing. Nothing. And that's why you have the chaos you have. This is not trigonometry. If you're going to change a policy, you have to have a better policy. If you're going to raise taxes, you have to anticipate that's going to have a deleterious effect on the overall economy. It always does. Does Biden know? Does Biden care? This is what worries me. So you hate Trump, fine. He knew what he was doing economically. You hate Obama, fine. Obama knew, he knew that you couldn't have an open border. His administration in eight years deported more people than any other administration ever did. He knew that. Biden doesn't know it. Biden wants, apparently, millions of foreign nationals to pour into the country. Is that going to help the economy? Is that going to help the job market? No. It's going to drain resources that are already strained because all these people are going to be entitled to Medicare. And you heard Joe Biden, I'll pay for all the medical care. Everybody in here is going to get free medical care from the government. We're going to pay for it. So now, you know, I'm not an ideologue. I scold the ideologues. You're concentrating on Biden's COVID speech because he wants the 4th of July as a meeting place and you're mocking him for that. You know, that's ridiculous. Forget it. That means nothing. This means something. Your economic well-being and open borders in the United States of America. That means something. And Biden has no clue, in my opinion, humble opinion, about the unintended consequences, the negative consequences of his actions. Fellow Americans, I am concerned about the U.S. dollar. Huge debt, as you know. Will it stay as the world's reserve currency? That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. And the only company I recommend and have for years is American Hartford Gold. I trust them. I've personally done business with them. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. And they make it very easy. So call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. And they will give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold shot up more than 40%. Silver, more than 60%. So don't wait. Call them now. 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights 
of my program, the No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.